Well, it is uh, it is top of the hour, so we're going to go get and get go ahead and get started. I don't know if anyone has noticed, but I put on my camera. I'm doing a lot more Zoom meetings face to face, so um, I'm I put on my camera. I noticed Donald, you've got your camera on. I saw Bob with his camera on. Yes, waving. Thank you, thank you. So. Um, just it makes it just a little bit more personal and, and we get to see each other and can interact with each other. And in, in these days of quarantine, it, just getting a little bit of interaction is a good thing. So uh, we're going to get started here. And uh, I just would like to say good morning, everybody. My name is Judy Feldhausen, and this is our Synergy webinar. And I'm so happy to be here today. It's, it's kind of strange. I'm usually here with Bob Wishmeyer. So um, he's in the background. I'm waving to you, Bob. Uh, I, I don't have you here to be at my side here. So uh, I already miss you. But today we are going to talk about a subject that is new to my heart, uh, something that I've been doing for about the last four months basically uh, very concentrated. And before that, I kind of dabbled in it. And so uh, what we're going to talk about uh, today is LinkedIn. And so before we actually get started, um, uh, I want to make sure that everyone is familiar with the chat box, because I'm going to be asking some questions today. And I would like it if you could respond in the chat box. You know, these really are uh, turbulent times. And for me, my face-to-face -face networking has ceased. I don't know if it has for you, but it definitely has for me because I'm quarantined here. I am doing some face-to-face -face Zoom meetings and that's okay. But uh, going out into crowds and learning, a, um, meeting a lot of people at one time just isn't possible right now. So uh, it, it may be time to actually change things up a bit. At least it has been for me. Uh, I actually, computer is not cooperating here. Um, I actually uh, am using LinkedIn to make connections. So when I started, uh, actually focusing on LinkedIn in January, I had about 2,800 or so connections, and that's, that's a pretty good amount. Now, um, I have over 4,500 connections, and I'm gonna share today with you how that's happened and what I've done with those connections to help my business, because that's really what it's about. It's not about just creating powerful connections, but it's about creating personal connections. And that's where the magic happens. It's absolutely amazing. Remind me at the end of uh, the webinar to, um, to share with you some of the connections and the people that I have met. Um, both have um, been synergy connections, but some of them just personal connections that I've made relationships with. Who knows what happen will happen down the line? They may not ever use synergy, but I'm learning so much, um, so much about like the guy I talked to yesterday that was talking about a boom that he's heard outside his uh, his uh, apartment uh, lives in North Lawndale in Chicago at 5.30 in the morning. And you know what? The same day I heard a boom too. Well, my boom was thunder. His boom was not. It was actually gunshots. And he said he ran downstairs along with six other neighbors. They all met uh, on the porch and uh, every single one of them had their guns drawn. Certainly a different experience than mine, but it sure opens my eyes on what is going out on in this country, in other parts of uh, my town and my state. And just having that awareness, not getting all the information that I um, learn from the news media. That's enough that we're gonna say about that. So when, uh, when we talk about LinkedIn, um, you know, we, we have to make some decisions, right? 
uh, because the the virus is really rewriting our imaginations. What felt impossible before has become thinkable. We're getting a different sense of our place in history. We know we're entering a new world, new era. We seem to be uh, learning our way into a new structure of feelings. And that's so true. So this is really a perfect time to, to really change it up, do something new. Um, you know, the old ways may not be working for us. So is LinkedIn something that you want to do? So uh, uh, I would like to know if you could put in the chat box, uh, maybe how you are getting your uh, your leads now, how you're finding prospects, how, what are you doing to look for new prospects? And um, uh, for some people, it is Facebook. For some people, it is Instagram, um, phone calls, uh, referrals. Thank you, Bob. Um, so there's there's so many different ways to get LinkedIn. So what we have to do is make a decision whether LinkedIn is going to be a viable way. When I first started with LinkedIn, I was told, um, I actually have a LinkedIn manager, which has been phenomenal. But I was told that I would spend about a half hour a week on LinkedIn uh, responding to messages. And uh, that has morphed to probably a half hour a day responding to messages. And uh, I do five to eight chats a day with people that I had personally never seen. So uh, first of all, what you have to look at is do you actually have um, adequate connections in your pipeline? Now, Dan says that he uses YouTube. Another great way, if, if you have done videos and put them on YouTube, Dan has been so successful at that. But do you, right now, right now today, if you look at the amount of people that you can talk to, is, is it viable? Is there enough people in your pipeline to get to the kind of sales you want to have, to get to the distributors you want to meet, is that available to you? And if not, then it's time to look at new ways. And we're all in the same boat here. None of us have those connections where we can go out uh, in a big city and, and do that. So, um, you know, it might, might be a time to, to look at that. And is LinkedIn going to work for your business? Believe me when I say that I'm spending a lot of time um, on LinkedIn looking, looking at um, people that I've connected with and doing messages. And uh, I have saved a lot of time by not going out and about. I figure I save at least a couple hours a day by not getting in my car and going somewhere. So I have the time, but uh, do you have the time and is it the people you want to meet? And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Are the people you want to meet on LinkedIn? And then the last thing is, can you create good relationships in a short period of time? And for me, that answer is absolutely yes. I, I, you can't even believe the, the people that I have connected with in, in the past few months, and especially in the past few weeks, that, um, that have changed the way I think about business, have changed the, the way I think about the world, just absolutely am am amazing. So when you're going to LinkedIn, who do you want to connect with? Well, so I put on some, some people that work for me and we're actually going to go to the page i hope in a moment and i'll show you how to do this but for me i'm looking for people already in the health 
and wellness field. So I look at chiropractors and nutritionists, personal trainers, health coaches, speakers that speak about health, um, network marketers. Uh, that's a great way to meet people already in the business because network marketers are either looking for additional companies or the company that they are with has had some challenges or they have not been happy with the, the product or the company and they're actually looking for another, um, another company. There's a, a, another company that has just been um, looked at, from the C, at the, by the CDC uh, because of some of the health claims that they made. This is the third company that I personally know about this year. So you can actually look for people that have that in their profile and connect with those companies. Another one is athletes. So I, got, I had a connection with um, a gentleman uh, that runs a national soccer club, and he's the director of physiology for them. I didn't know there was a director of physiology in a uh, soccer club, but you know we just connected. Not that we figured we had anything in common, but we just connected. And we had such an amazing conversation uh, I have another part of my business, which is my uh, health screening device, and that's what he had questions about. But during the conversation, we talked, of course, about ProArginine Plus, and interesting that he is just signing an exclusive contract with a company that is going to help his athletes. So unfortunately, he can't work uh, he can't look at ProArginine Plus as an option for his athletes. But it got me thinking, wow, what if I start looking at athletes and, uh, and directors of physiology in uh, other, other sports? Doesn't make any difference. Because if he's looking, then other people are looking too. So might be a great way, great place to look. And then the, the last thing that um, I have thought of is uh, personal interest because when you have something in common with something someone sometimes it just um, makes it easier to talk to them right because sometimes talking to someone uh, without ever knowing who they are or, or only a little bit about them can be overwhelming right so if you have something that you have the same interest in uh, you know, that would be a, a, a good way to, to connect and start a conversation. So as I, I'm going to go here and show you how I, um, I hope, um, go here how I, sh I actually um, look at the LinkedIn profile. So this is a, um, this is a hands-on kind of thing. So while I'm doing that, if you could put in the chat box, some of the types of people that you would like to connect to uh, either on LinkedIn or off LinkedIn. Because remember, we want to hone down our focus so that we're not just looking at the whole world, that we focus on a certain group of people and then expand from there. So if you could put that in the chat box, I would appreciate it. And so let me escape out of here and go into, uh, shoot, I meant to have this on here. So, uh, so I'm going to my LinkedIn profile. Can everybody see my LinkedIn profile? Uh, someone unmute themselves and let me know or put it in the, the chat box. Yeah, we see it, Judy. Thank, thank you, Beth. So here's my, here's my LinkedIn profile. And so uh, uh, this is just my wall. Just like on Facebook, you have a wall. So uh, this happens to be my wall. This is the home page that uh, I see when I go in there. But I'm going to go over to my network here. So, um, so if you look at, I can look at my connections, 4,444 today. 
um, the people I follow, the groups that I'm uh, connected with. So groups are really important because when you're looking for connections, you can connect to people that you are in groups with because I don't have the extra fancy LinkedIn profile, the $79 uh, addition to LinkedIn. I don't pay for LinkedIn. So I want to be able to connect to my second degree connections. And if I'm connected with someone in a group, they're considered second degree. So I, I'm in 55 groups. There used to be a, a maximum of 50. I don't know what the maximum is anymore because I started connecting to more and I got accepted. But um, if, if you look at the groups that I'm connected with, um, I'm in nutrition and wellness, uh, medical devices, health and wellness, uh, LinkedIn for leaders, multi-level marketing. I mean, just look at this uh, for women, uh, business to business sales professionals. Uh, these are just some of the, the groups that I'm connected with. And uh, I, I really am not really active in the groups, but uh, it gives me the opportunity to connect with all these people in, uh, in these groups. So when I'm looking at my network, yeah, so much stuff open on my, uh, my thing here. Um, I want to go to my connections and I can connect to any one of these, these connections. I can connect to all the people they are listed to. So let me check on, um, on Ed Riley. So Ed Riley, he owns Vail. He's one of my connections. Uh, and, uh, he has over 500 connections. So that's 500 people that I can connect to. So if you can imagine the amount of people, once you have those, um, those connections, it's absolutely phenomenal. So let us look at So I don't, so I don't see where the, um, so also uh, on here, I've got to move some more stuff around here. Um, here's an invitation that I got from Philip Edmonds today. He's the Bachelor of Business Administration at uh, Toronto, in, in uh, the University of Toronto. So I can accept that invitation and I'm going to tell you what I do when I accept it. There's also people, I went to college at Eastern Michigan, so there's also uh, people that uh, from Eastern Michigan that I know, uh, people that have similar ro rows of as me. So uh, I can connect to all those people. Uh, so there's, there's amazing, amazing uh, op opportunities for me to do. I can also look at uh, search for people. And when I search for people, I can search for, for um, people and I can go ahead and here look at filters. So I want, let's say I want to make some new connections. I will use my first and second connections and I can go over here and go to um, a region. So anybody, uh, what's the difference between contacts and connections? Um, a, Sometimes people connect with you. Um, uh, you can follow someone just like in Facebook. Uh, they can be your contacts, but you may not follow them back. Um, and so we have, uh, um, we have uh, a location here we can choose. So, so someone, uh, type in the chat box uh, where you would like to look for people. So a, 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 a um, a uh, city or a state, um, anywhere in the world where you would like to connect with people. Um, and then we can, we can go ahead and connect with, um, with those type of, of people. So anyone have any choices or if not, I'm just going to use uh, Chicago here. So, okay. So if I put in Chicago, 
the greater Chicago area. I can then also go down here and look at a type of industry. Uh, and some of these I've put in previously, but so let's look in health, wellness, and fitness. That's kind of a part of the industry that uh, I'm interested in. And I want to apply those, uh, those connections. And so these are the people that came up. So uh, these are my first, uh, let me let me go back and change my filters because I don't want to use my first. These are I'm I'm looking for new people, so um, I'm looking for new people. So here's some people that I can connect with in um, in the health and wellness field. So Michelle is on the National Board of Certified Functional Medicine, and she's a health coach. Might be someone that I want to connect with. Uh, Beata here is an educator. A master esthetician, hmm, someone I may want to connect with. Wendy Lauritsen, she's an eating psychology coach. Hmm, do you see the possibilities here? Amazing possibilities. So you can connect with um, all those people. Any questions so far with, um, with the how to find connections? And go ahead and you can unmute yourself. You can put it in the chat box. And I've got the chat box up. I'm trying to keep looking at it. If not, I'm sure someone else will unmute themselves and let me know. So those are the types of connections that I have chosen to connect with. But perhaps you have, uh, we have uh, in the chat box here, we have nutritionists and naturopaths. So, uh, lots of lots of different uh, people and you can put all those types of people in for yourself and just connect with those people in any area you want to connect with absolutely amazing so what do I do well uh, the first thing I do is I want to connect with someone so when I've chosen the person I want to connect with and um, um, I'll tell you exactly how I do that at the end but when I've, when I've chosen the people that I want to connect with, I hit the connect button. When you hit the connect button, you can actually put in a message. Uh, the statistics say that you get 40% more connections if you put in a personal message. Don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they say. So this is what I say when I write my first note. Hi, Michelle, I would, or whoever, I would love to connect. My company, Cardio Wellness Group, is on a mission to eliminate heart disease using heart rate variability and nitric oxide therapy protocol. I'm looking forward to learning more about you and your business. Thanks, Judy. That message goes to every single person that I connect with. So you can, you're more than welcome to to use this or create your own message, but you don't have to change it every time. Do the same thing over and over and over and over again. And uh, Donald says, I triangulate on three reputable doctors sharing the posts or the facts of what they're seeing in the ICU and two others who are sharing the report on the virus. Uh, yes, and, and we haven't even talked about the, uh, the wall of LinkedIn. Um, I, I basically only do messages like once a week, once a month, uh, I write an article. I'm not really active on the wall, but I, I have tons of people that I'm talking to. So uh, posting on the wall, another way to, uh, to get your um, being a subject matter expert, because really that's what you want to do. When people are looking at you and your profile, they're going to dig into what you've done, how you've done it. And if you have uh, things on the wall, on your wall, that makes you more of a, a subject matter expert. Thank you, Donald, for sharing that. So, um, so after, after the connection comes, I do something that most people don't do. And that is write a thank you note, right? Do we do that for our customers? Do we do it for gifts? No, not most of us. 
but if we when we write a thank you note more often than not it gets a response so hey michelle thanks so much for connecting i look forward to keeping in touch my goal is to genuinely get to know my connections to create collaborative productive relationships thanks judy this message gets a lot of response not everyone, but people start responding. When they do, it's my cue to go to the next message. So, um, so I will respond with a message similar to this all the time. So I want to connect with people on a personal level. I would like to invite you to schedule a virtual coffee over a Zoom call. Here's a link to my calendar. And that is my calendar link. It's, uh, I, I have a 30 minute uh, meeting on my calendar. And I tell you, this alone has saved me hours. So has anybody had to say, hey, what works for you? Hmm, Tuesday or Thursday? Okay, Thursday, what time? Okay, 11 or one. Okay, 11 or one. Oh, I just have something scheduled uh, on both times because it's been a day since we've talked uh, uh, talked or emailed or whatever with each other. So this makes it so um, uh, so amazing. I just uh, I just got a message today actually similar to this from uh, the director of the Kellogg School of something I don't know, uh, and he sent me a link to his calendar. I loved it, and so I was able to look at my calendar and um, actually respond and so we have a message and I should show you my calendar uh, it is full of 30 minute meetings um, so I got a, a message the other day from someone and he said you know uh, I want to talk to you because my son's a dentist and um, and he's starting a new project so could we chat so we chatted and this this guy uh, has uh, mobile dental facilities in six states that he goes to corporations and he does people's teeth. And I'm thinking, okay, how am I going to use Pro Arginine Plus? Yeah, that's a possibility, but mm, it'll be an interesting conversation. Um, and uh, when we got on the phone, he said, well, actually, he's thinking of doing medical doctor's office and we're looking for something that is going to make a difference for his medical practice. Um, he's actually not a doctor. He's a Harvard graduate and he's just starting this business and doing his medical mobile offices now in addition to his medical uh, dental offices. So will it, will it work out? I don't know, but I tell you it was such an interesting conversation. Uh, Betsy's asking, is the calendar part of the link? Yes. If you go to Calendly.com, you can create a free account. And uh, that free account will allow you to either set up 15 minutes, 30 minute, 30 minute meetings, or 60 minute meetings. If you want to pay for Calendly, you can have different lengths of meetings and send different links to different people. I just do 30 minute uh, meetings and if um, if it's someone that I'm really thinking it might take longer than that I just if, um, try to either add time in my calendar or I'll tell them right at the beginning of the call you know what we've got 30 minutes today if we don't finish would it be okay to set up another calendar link and they go back and set up another calendar link for me I don't do any of that so um, being able to connect on a personal level not just uh, a powerful connection, but a personal connection. Because what happens is when you get on those calls and you just start chatting. And uh, so I've been told that I do it wrong, just so you know. I'm gonna tell you my way and then I'll tell you the right way. So when I was young, there was a sign when I walked into my back door, there was a sign that my mother had put up that I read every single day of my life. And it said, do it my way. Anybody can do it the right way. And so I took that to heart. So I, I do this my way. 
And um, uh, when I go into a conversation, I do not have an agenda. In the back of my mind, do I want to talk about Synergy and its amazing products? Absolutely. But I'm just going to tell you that if someone comes to me in a conversation and immediately tries to sell me their product, whether it's a good product or a bad product, personally, I shut down. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I do. And so I figure that other people will probably feel that way also. So I don't go with a specific agenda. My goal is to learn about them and learn about what they need and what they want. And if there's anything that I have going to help them with that. And maybe it's making a connection to someone I know, but it's the beginning of that relationship because you always don't marry someone on the first date, right? You start out by going out to dinner and it's the same way on LinkedIn or any other social network as far as I am concerned. So when, uh, when I get on a call, I do not, First, talk about Synergy Worldwide. The first thing I talk about is, hey, who are you? What, tell me about yourself. What do you want to accomplish? How are you doing that? And how can I help you do that? And, you know, eventually we get down to me. That entire conversation takes about 10 minutes. And after that, we can talk about me and what I'm looking for. And maybe we can help one another. So it really is all about responding on a personal level. Uh, don't, uh, don't it, at this point, don't have a, um, a specific um, uh, link in mind, a spe specific message in mind. Do it personally. I always look at their profile and a lot of times they'll, they'll respond to that first message with questions or comments or just an interesting thing. And so I look at their, their profile and figure out how to answer them on a personal level, not just on a, um, a regular um, blank response. It, it, I always say, um, you know, uh, I, I see that uh, as a nutritionist, what kind of challenges does that bring? Uh, right now for you or something like that. Um, LinkedIn has the ability, if you download the app for your phone, this isn't on the computer, it's only on the phone. If you download the app on your phone, you can send audio messages and video messages. Uh, the other day I sent 50 video messages to my connections. You see how I spend so much time on LinkedIn, right? But they're only 20 seconds long, every one of them. Um, before I did the, the video, I would say, I, I would find out who they were and I would say, um, hey Sue, I see that uh, you are uh, really interested in running. I'd love to hear more about that. Could we have a quick chat and uh, see how we could probably collaborate or help each other? Just let me know. And that is my message. I did 50 of them. I got four appointments from that. And so uh, it's, it's, there's a lots of options within LinkedIn to work your business. So um, uh, whether you use LinkedIn or not, some of the things that I have shared with you uh, will will be used on all forms of social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, uh, direct messaging on Facebook. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff out there uh, that people are using. I don't even remember the, the names of them, but those, those are opportunities to make real personal connections. And really that's, that's what it's all about. So uh, two days ago, I spoke to someone. She was actually in her car driving between uh, appointments or something. 
And we only had um, about uh, 10 minutes to chat. And in that time, we found so much that we have in common with our pasts and with our, um, with our focuses. Uh, she does not have uh, any type of supplement, but she's doing recipes online, just like I've been re doing recipes online. And she's writing a book. She actually asked me if I could put some of my recipes in her book. Um, we are going to be doing recipes live on Facebook together. It's going to help both of our businesses. And that's what you have to look at when you're creating relationships. Uh, it's not about just selling the product. And have I sold the product on LinkedIn? Yes. And um, uh, it's, you know, it's uh, definitely a, a possibility. I actually spoke to uh, a gentleman that works for Abbott Labs. He's a nutritionist. And his job is to create menus for COVID-19 patients. Amazing, right? But uh, as we're talking about all of that, I found out that part-time he's trying to start his own personal training business and is looking for supplements. So those opportunities just happen organically when you're having a conversation. So I would say for everybody, just enjoy meeting people, talking to people, learning about what they do, and you too will be able to make great personal relationships and increase your business at the same time. So that is my presentation for today. Do I have any questions? So Judy, thank you, that was excellent. And I see that uh, the people who are showing themselves were taking notes and, and, and I wrote down strategy. So you correct me if I'm wrong. I've never used LinkedIn. I have a LinkedIn account, but I don't pay attention to it. But after listening to your presentation, um, I think that most likely I need to start paying attention to LinkedIn. But if a person put together a strategy, and correct me if I'm wrong and in, in kind of like what I'm going to propose here based upon what your experience, if I committed 30 minutes a day to doing my, my search and then making 10 connections a day, I could most likely do that while within 30 seconds because I got a prepaid or a prepared message that I'm going to send to everyone. It's just I got to do my search. Then I got to pick out my 10 people and then I send them, you know, the invitation to connect that you showed. And if I did that five days a week, that would give me 50 potential connections per week. If I was disciplined and did that every week, it would give me 200 connections per month. And if I continued this for a year process, I'd have at least 2,400 connections that I've made. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to have 2,400 conversations. But again, if I do the steps that you're talking about, I spend a half an hour getting my 10 connections per day. Then I may have to use another half an hour to respond to people who respond to my invitation to connect. And then if I have Calendry set up, then I may be expanding the number of people that I get appointments with that I can actually meet and begin to talk like you're talking about on Zoom to meet them. And if I was just 10% successful at doing this, I would have at least 20 or 240 meaningful conversations in the course of that year, not knowing exactly what that would lead to. And if I got better at this, I could increase that from 10% to maybe 20%. If I was posting on my wall relevant articles and creating interest, especially in the categories of people that I want to talk to, that I'm inviting them to join you know, to connect with me on LinkedIn and then posting relevant information to what I'm interested in, but also that has interest in the fields of the people that I'm connecting with, then my opportunity to, to continue to expose my expertise, like I've tried to do on YouTube, as well as to connect with people who are actually interested in this type of information, would most likely then also, especially if people are checking me out, like you check people out, would increase my ability to create relevant conversations. Is that, am I, is my strategy off here? Your strategy is right on. And what happens, Dan, is that as you are uh, 
as you are making those searches and are you as you are requesting people to connect with you are going up on the search level in linkedin and when you go up on the search level in linkedin that means that you're the one that appears in the searches okay and and when you appear in those searches then there are people that want to connect with you so i connected with a guy um the, this, the, the guy that uh, was uh, with, the, with the guns in, uh, in his neighborhood, he's actually a nationally renowned dog trainer. So he set up all the U.S. camps for the, for the dog whisperer. He's an amazing, amazing person. He found me on LinkedIn. I didn't find him. He found me. And he requested to talk to me. And that happens more and more often. Uh, often. I've already gotten two requests today with two calendar links for people that want to talk to me. So I'm not, I'm not out there. Um, you know, I don't have to make those outward um, connections anymore. But let me just give you a, a cheat that I use. So I'm going to give you um, three options. Option one is a very inexpensive company called Ducks Soup. And they can make connections for you automatically. You put up the search criteria. They send out the invitations that you tell them to send out. Then there's another option called connected with a K, K-E-N-N-E-C-T-E-D. That's also a search uh, program. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive but it will not only uh, make connections, but it'll send out responses for you, and it will send out um, articles for you. Um, it has uh, auto responders. So you don't need to sit at your computer making those, those decisions uh, every day. The third thing is I actually have a LinkedIn manager, some, someone that I met um, with an organization that I am in, and he not only makes the connection, sends out that, uh, that thank you response, but also sends out the invitation for coffee for me. He also posts articles for me on my wall, and he sends them out to my connections. If I have a function that I want someone to attend, so every day at, every, every Wednesday at, um, every Thursday at 11 o'clock, Dan and David and Elmer and I actually do the benefits and pitfalls of network marketing. Um, he sends out invitations for me for that with my Zoom link, and then people register for that. So, um, you know, that's not an inexpensive service, but, um, you know, you can go in with a lot of people for, with that if you want to um on your team or other people in synergy to make it less expensive you can you, you can do that any way you want um, but for me i chose to go that way because i want to spend my time talking to people and not um not making those initial connections so those are three different ways that you can uh, either uh, semi or automatically get everything up to the conversation almost um, when when they're when they're out of rhythm, yes, you do have to respond and really make um, make a uh, a one on one message. But other than that, basically the first three messages are automatic. Does that answer your question? Yeah, great. Thank you. Any other questions? I think you have something in the chat box with regards, do you have a specific message you send when someone asks to connect? Yeah, I send out my second message. I, I, I start it with, thanks for reaching out. I, I like to um, get to know my uh, connections on a personal, where is this? Message number two, um, this one. I look forward to keeping in touch. My, this is, my goal is to generally get to know my connections to create collaborative, productive relationships. But I that's I, instead of thanks so much for connect, connecting i say thanks so much for reaching out so basically the same thing and then you wait to see if they respond and if they don't respond that's fine uh, sometimes i'll never do anything more with them again but sometimes i'll just choose a random 50 people and send them a voice uh voice message or i'll send them a video chat and see if i get any response sometimes i do sometimes i don't 
but it's absolutely been worth it. Uh, actually, I found uh, an X Synergy employee while I was doing that, sent her a video chat, and we've been chatting back and forth um, and finding out what she's doing and what's going on in her life and um, just, uh, you know, just recreating connections, which is cool. Uh, anything else? Hi, Judy, it's Donald. Yes, Donald. Uh, thanks very much for sharing this. I, like Dan, had, uh, has, I should say, um, a LinkedIn account, but haven't been using it. I've always seen LinkedIn somehow as being in the workforce, meaning you're looking to find a job, make connections and that. So my LinkedIn account became um, docile. But um, I use Facebook and WhatsApp um, to do my sharing. Um, so that's another way that um, I share as well. So thanks for thanks for sharing that. You're welcome. And you know, any type of social media is going to work here. Uh, the only difference is in LinkedIn, of course, you can choose a specific group of people that you want to make connections with. And the beauty about LinkedIn is that it's a business connection. So people are more than likely to say yes to someone that they don't know. Where in Facebook, I never accept a connection if I don't know them. It's, it's so true. You know, so anything else? Not for me, thanks. Okay, well, thank you so much. Uh, hey, if you have you. any questions, um, or you are welcome. You are welcome. Is that Bob? Yeah. Hi. Thanks, Bob. I miss you. Yeah. It's good to see you, Judy. Thanks. So uh, here's my, my phone number, my email address. If you have any questions or comments or have some ideas that I didn't think of, because I don't know everything. This is new to me, too. I mean, I'm I'm a baby when it comes to LinkedIn. LinkedIn. It's only been... Uh, five months for me. So let me know. Give, give me ideas. We can share them with the team. It's all about helping and supporting other. And uh, John says, uh, opens up new opportunities. Thanks so much. So you're welcome, John. And uh, if I don't have any more questions, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going out to plant some flowers in the mud. So... <laughs> Everyone have a wonderful weekend and don't forget Monday morning, Bob has his uh, global health makeover call. And next Saturday, Bob and I are continue with our journey with uh, um, Les Brown and uh, mm. his wonderful book. Not next Saturday, Judy, two Saturdays. Oh, two Saturdays. Oh, thank Saturdays. goodness, because I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. Then you've got a, an extra week to get ready. Uh, yes, absolutely. we'll be there. It's all good. Okay. Thanks, okay. Judy. Thank, Thank you, Judy. You guys. Thanks Bye. again, Judy. Thank Good to see you, Bob. You stay too, Don. Thank you so much.